Okay, now moving right along to predicates. Predicates means that uh, where you have an adjective, it is no longer modifying the subject object or indirect object or, or possessive uh, of a noun. It is the second element in the sentence and the sentence is usually very straightforward. X is Y. So there, you, the uh, adjective does not have any case ending, any gender ending. It is simply there by itself. For example, the Three Dog Night song I will be performing uh, online after, after this uh, lesson. The tint is schwarz. The ink is, is black. There, since it's a, a tint is feminine, it's D tint is schwarz. Das Zeitl's weiss. The uh, page is white. And since uh, we're worried about meter in this, we are changing, uh, we are uh, changing is to an apostrophe samich, just as we would do with an apostrophe s in English. So, the tint is schwarz, the Zeitl's weiss. The ink is black, the, uh, the page is white. Zusammen mit lernen zu lesen und schreiben. I'll translate it just for the sake of completion. Together we learn to read and write. Die, der Kind ist schwarz, der Kind ist weiß. The child is black, the child is white. There I put a definite article in because when you have an indefinite article in a predicate, there are different rules, even though the song has it that way. Here you go, my first sheet. Very good. Now, die ganze Welt guckt auf dem Gesehenischen, a Schönen Gesehenischen. The whole world looks upon the sight, a beautiful sight. There you have as part of the sentence, a Schönen Gesehenischen, which is inflected and gender conscious. And since Gesehenischen is masculine and dative, it is a shane in Gazanishan. And now, on uh, jetzt a kin can ya verstehen, and now a child can understand. I add ya, which means like uh, extra certainly, uh, in order to keep the meter right. Das is der din von ganzen land, ganzen land, that this is the law of all the land, all the land. And since land is masculine, uh, therefore it is, uh, I think, dative or genitive if it exists. At any rate, it has the nun case ending since it is masculine. De Welt is schwarz, de Welt is weiss. The world is Black, the world is white. There you have a, mes a feminine uh, predicate, and therefore it is uninflected and un without uh, gender conscious suffixes. And there you all go. There I got it all in the frame. Okay. Es kehrt bei Tag und noch bei Nacht. It turns by day and then by night. That's just the song. No, nothing about the adjectives, predicate or otherwise. A kind is schwarz. I mean, I shoot. Der Kind is schwarz. Der Kind is weiss. The child is black. The child is white. Again, I'm keeping this uh, easy to follow. 
because the song has an indefinite article in English, but we have to change it to the definite in order not to add extra syllables here. The child is black, child is white again. Zusammen sie wachsen, zu sehen das Licht. Together they grow to see the light. Und schön mit klar sie sich kann sehen. And now at last we plainly see. Mit Tanz darum mit freien Heit. Is this a freien Heit? We uh, will have a dance of liberty. Liberty. I guess the Zisa can be dropped. Okay, so that is the song giving us all the examples we need of predicate, a definite article uh, adjectives. Now, with the regard to the indefinite article, a uh, or un, that's easy to understand. It's also still in the nominative, but you have case endings, I mean, you have gender endings after each adjective. For masculine, er is a guter, he is a good guy. There you have the masculine suffix, er. And for feminine, sie is a gute, again, the fem she is a good one. There you have the uh, feminine suffix of e. Eh. But something happens with neutral. Seems that neutral just can't handle uh, adjectives. S is good instead of S is good like you would do with a. I mean, like you would do with a modified noun. For example, ich habe gelernt a good a good book. Uh, I have learned a good book, I have studied a good book. You have a samach suffix, s is a good. It is a, it is good. Der, das Buch is a good. The book is good. And there we go. Thank you and good evening.